Good morning, happy Sunday. I hope yours isn't as wet as mine. Uh, looks like it's gonna rain all day again. Good for the plants, I guess. Anyway, welcome to My Elegant Cards and episode 188, which is featuring the Winter Meadow DSP again. There were too many um, patterns that I wanted to use. I couldn't get them all in um, one class. So um, I got a few more going. So what do I need to tell you? I need to remind you that if you spend or put in an order of $25 or more with me, I will send you this pre-cut stuff. Well, not this one because I'm going to use it. Um, and if you share my live, hopefully growing our um, our group, then I'll put you in next week's raffle. Talking of the raffle, let's do ooh, today's raffle. I'll turn you down for that so that you can see what's going on. Just, there we go. Let's pull this up. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. So, who have I got? This is very exciting. I've got my eight-sided die out. So, Barbara, Cheryl, Robin, Kathy, Diana, Kim, and Judy. So, you can be sure that I will roll an eight, seeing as we only have seven people. So, oh, no, it's a four, which is one, two, three, four, Kathy. So, that's good. My dice must be in a good mood today, instead of giving me lots of eights and laughing at me. Or oh, that's how it feels. So, um, what are we making today? This is what we're making using... Oh, I forgot to turn this light on. There we go. That's a bit better. I thought it was a bit dark. I didn't think I could blame it all on the rain. So anyway, here is a piece of DSP, and this is from the Magical Meadow stamp set that goes with the, uh, the DSP. So here's another one, same here, sentiment from... Um, Magical Meadow and here's some more of the DSP I've had people ask me about colours this is all all the cardstock here is Lost Lagoon I've got a bit of a thing about Lost Lagoon I think and here is the final one this is Moody Mauve around the edge and stamped on a altered um, die from earthen textures so I'll show you how this should be a, a vase and this is I think, the, I think that's the bottom and I trimmed the top so that it didn't look quite so odd and so it makes quite a good uh, sentiment die thing whatever they're called so, let's get started. Pull out my... Yes, I showed you those. Put those over there. Put these over here. And... We need our pretty peacock. be good. Oh, 
Okay. That's good. I'm going to knead it again later, and I forgot to do my um, chamois, mostly probably because I set this up on Wednesday. Okay, I'll leave that for later. There we go. So, get out my sample apparatus to make life easy. So I don't need that anymore, but I do need to put this on here like that. So, just add some tape runner. I call it tape runner because I can never remember what it's called. It is stamping seal. That's what it is. In a fast fuse container. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So I put that there, then I can push this upside down into the corner and I've got exactly what I want. So looks like it needs a little more glue, there we are. Then we're going to put it on this. And it's going to be like that. So all the loose edges are here. So let's put the glue on this piece. Like so. And now this no. Ah, what am I doing? That's a good question. This is supposed to be here, so this is upside down. And this goes into that corner and here we have our card. Let's move this out of the way. And we can add our <coughs> That's a bit long, isn't it? So how about these this edge makes life easy and then a few of these so it doesn't droop and then this to the card. And there we go. Then I'm going to add a few 
of these. Let's hope it's better than when I was making these. One of them pinged across the room. <laughs> I have no idea why. It just didn't want to be on a card, I guess. It's working much better now. Okay. And that's our first card done. So let me put that one over there this one over here and we'll move on to number two which in case you have forgotten what it looks like is this this is again using pretty peacock and we're going to stamp winter wishes which isn't a very long stamp, so I'm going to put it closer to the bottom, say here, to leave space for some embellishments. Yep, that's good. So, we don't need this anymore. So we get out the Stamparatus again, just because it makes life easier, especially if I open it the right way up. Yeah, there we go. So let's put these together. So again, this is Lost Lagoon that we're putting the matting it with. So this will only help me with the top. I've got to do the other bit by eye because it's supposed to be in the middle of this, which it is. So. It's good. Now we need to add this to the basic white card base. Which way up do we want it? Mm, yeah, I think there. So we just decide where it's going and add it to the card. Right. And then this will go here. So let's get the dimensionals out. There we are. And we're going back to the uh, Faceted Gems Trio Pack. And this time I'm going to use the silver ones, or white ones, or whatever they are. So 
put one there. Yes, I'm not very good at these from an angle. So I think there. As Judy likes to remind me, it's handmade. So, so that's the second one. And here, as a reminder, is the third one. start with the DSP. Very pretty. a little bit because I had it stuck on my fingers. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to put this on a Lost Lagoon card base just to be uh, different. Yeah, right. I may have been using rather a lot of Lost Lagoon. put it inside. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I've had too much sleep. I may have done. I had quite a lot of sleep. I was really tired. I went to bed at eight ish. Didn't wake up till eight. So yeah. Might have overslept. So here's what I did. This are, these are the earthen texture dies, and here is the die. So I punched it out, and then I got rid of a little bit, so that it doesn't look like it's a vase anymore. It looks like um, an interesting... interesting kind of um, die, die thing. I can't think what to call it. Um, but just line up the... I wonder if I took enough off. Hmm. Oh yes, it was all put. I think it could have been made smaller, but not with this sentiment so I think it was going to go that way yes it was so you've got this lined up on that line so that it's straight and then I'm going to put this in Perfect. I did not expect that. So let me get this out of the way. And then we put this right up to the edge. So it's kind of... Um matted on one corner 
it's not matches at all, it's just up next to it. But Get some little ones just to keep it uh, not sagging, just prevent it from sagging. And maybe one right here. There we go. Okay, one more. Mm. I really don't like it to sag, can you tell? So I'm just going to peel off that one. Because I think that's all we need. And now we can put this on. And then I have some adhesive back speckled dots to put on. And one more. Hopefully this one is the right way around. Excellent. There we go. So, here is what we've made today. Are they all in view? Slightly wonky, apparently. Um, there you go. So, I hope you enjoyed um, these cards being made and I hope that it will give you some inspiration to get on with your Christmas cards because really we've got about five weeks before if you're mailing them you've got to get them mailed so um I hope you're doing okay with your with your Christmas cards anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week okay bye